In this lesson you're going to learn how to configure the control panel. The control panel is a component of Windows. It provides a view and changes system settings. In this version of Windows you can go to control panel options by typing the word control panel into Cortana just down here and you can see control panel appears at the top. You can see the classic control panel icon here and then click on it and you get taken to the control panels window. Here you can find the main system settings which you can manage as you can see here. We'll just zoom in you can see the tabs system security where you can configure security settings such as Windows Defender and Firewall, administrative tools, backup options and power options. You can see user accounts that let you add additional account on your computer and permit you to change the account from the admin to the user. Network and internet tab is used for connection options and troubleshooting connection problems. Appearance and personalization tab is where you can customize your desktop background and visual options. Hardware and sound tab is used to manage external devices connected to your computer. These include printers. The clock language and region tab set your time zone and your preferred language to use. Programs tab, you can install and remove software and you can also add some additional Windows features. Ease of access is to configure the Windows accessibility options. If you'd like to have a more detailed view, you can set your view from the category to large icons view here. So you just uh, tick down to the next tab or you can choose small icons if you so wish. Obviously it depends on your monitor size and resolution. But you can play with those settings up there. As you can see, the small view you can see the control panel options in detail. You can choose the option directly to set your system settings. Here we have administrative tools. You can see the tool is used to manage your computer. You'll be able to use this tool only if you run them as an administrator. Coming back to the control panel, among the other things that you can see are those already present. For example, programs and features, Windows Defender Firewall, Network and Sharing Center for Internet Connectivity. Another way to access the control panel from a Windows 10 is from the taskbar. Right click at the Windows Start icon. From this menu you have many ra rapid options uh, like some administrative tools. So this will open an alternative view of the Windows control panel here and uh, Windows settings. In this version we have almost the same items that we found in the last window such as the ease of access, time and language, personalization and others uh, new ones such as Cortana. This is the virtual assistant for Windows 10. All right, so we've just had a, little, a short view of control panel. Uh, please uh, follow along uh, with your own uh, version of Windows 10. Thanks for watching.